Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim Assalamu alaikum Salam Khan here and the topic relationship between unit impulse and unit step signals so the first that uh, in this particular video that we see is in the discrete time domain discrete time domain fine now the impulse signal delta of n you know that this would equal to 1 at t equal to 0 and this would equal 0 at any other value of t now you know why i have written this value 1 this 1 does not represent the value at t is equal to 0 this is not the magnitude this basically tells us about the strength or the area of the curve basically the magnitude of the unit impulse function is undefined at t is equal to 0 okay that is what you know from your previous knowledge but this is a major confusing point that sometimes you write it undefined sometimes you write it as 1 that undefined is the magnitude this 1 is on the basis of the area fine this one we write for simplicity you can say it in this way as well so if I draw the graph of it so this is if the n axis so you represent this impulse with a spark delta of n now another major confusion in these topics are of the symbols this symbol generally we call it as a sigma in this course it is known as delta so this is also known as delta okay you, you check it on google this is also known as delta the other one is that uh, triangular one okay now let's say we shift this impulse so let's say i draw some shifted impulses and what are those shifted impulses so let's say this is if n axis so let me draw two or three shifted impulses n axis and similarly over here this is your n axis so let's say i have shifted the impulse i write a one with it to represent its strength I have shifted this to the left so let's say I shift it a one unit this is a negative one so I shift it over here so what would be now this value called delta of n plus one isn't it so you know about the time shifting you don't know the video is already present in this playlist I shift it toward the right by a one unit to a positive one now this is called delta of n minus one I shift it toward the right by two units this is called delta of n minus 2 isn't it so now have a look as we know that as uh, the unit step signal is what u of t so this uh, u of n we are dealing with the discrete time so u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than equal to 0 and it's 0 for n less than 0 so which means our u of n in the discrete time is like this this is our u of n this is 1 okay 0 1 2 3 4 and so on so you have these values so if you have a look now for the, the left shift I am not interested the left shift I am not interested we are only interested in the right shifts so this is n minus 1 then you have n minus 2 similarly if you have an n minus 3 so that would be an impulse uh, at position n equal to 3 similarly n minus 4 would be a position n equal to 4 so if you sum the shifted impulses toward the right from 0 equal to infinity you get 1 you get this unit step signal if I write it mathematically so which is like this if I sum the shifted impulse the shifted impulse starting from the value of n equal to 0 starting from the value of n equal to 0 towards positive infinity I get what I get the unit 
step function. Isn't it so? It is. If I somewhat, if I sum up the shifted impulses towards the right from a value of n equal to 0 to a value of n equal to infinity, I get this unit impulse. Is that fine? Now if you see, so I have two variables in this uh, bracket or in the argument. So if I want to make it a one variable, so let's say I suppose another variable equal to m, which is equal to n minus k. Alright, so if this is equal to n minus k, so what do you do? You uh, have now equal k equal to 0 and infinity, so which means you also have to replace these limits. So uh, first let's say when k is equal to 0, this implies what? That m would be equal to n m would be equal to n fine and similarly when uh, this k is equal to positive infinity so this would imply that m is equal to n minus infinity so uh, uh, so a smaller number minus a very large number would equal that very large number and this is equal to negative infinity so which means that you could write it as this summation of uh, now it's m running from negative infinity m running from 0 to negative infinity delta of m and this is equal to u of n isn't it so it is now if i tell you if i tell you that i have these four markers i have these four markers i am summing them i am summing them from the left side so if I sum them from the left side, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, isn't it so? So this is from M, uh, sorry, sorry, wait, I am summing them from the right side first. So I have 1, 2, 3 and 4, isn't it so? So this is the case over here, you are summing it from 0 to negative infinity, which means 0 is on the right, negative infinity is on the left, you are performing a summation from right to left. Now. If I have the same summation, the same summation from left to right, 1, 2, 3, 4, the same four markers, I have the same answer. So which means if I sum from negative infinity to 0, it would be the same as summing from 0 to infinity. So which means that I could write it as the relationship would be like this. Summation from m runs running to 0, no, m running from negative infinity to 0, delta of m this would equal u of n and this is the relationship between uh, impulse and step function now now this is impulse in term, this is step in terms of impulse what about impulse in terms of step so i uh, would write the definition no i would first remove the both Okay, so now let me also write the u of n. This is equal to uh, 1 for t greater than, uh, this is n, okay? Because we are dealing in discrete time domain. For n greater than or equal to 0, 0 for n less than 0. So, the, the, okay, the graph I would draw it. So have a look. Now this is for the unit step function. If I draw the graph, so how would be the graph of it? This is if the n axis, this is u of n. So this is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and so on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. This value is also 1. Fine. Now if I shift this, if I shift it, so if I write it as shifted step function and let's say I'm interested in shift right only, so if I have u of n minus 1, which means that this is only shifted uh, one unit toward the right, so now it would be equal to 0 
at t is equal to 0, at n equal to 0, fine, and this would equal to 1 otherwise. This is 1, fine. So if I subtract, if I subtract this shifted step from the original step, I remain with only a single value that is at t at n is equal to 0 and which means what? We have got a an impulse function. So which means that the impulse function is the first difference of a unit step function. If I write it over here like this, impulse is what? It's u of n minus u of n minus 1. Isn't it so? It is. So that's the relationship. This is the impulse in terms of step and this is step in terms of impulse. That's all about this video. For the discrete time, see you in the next lecture with the relationship in continuous time. Till then, take care. Goodbye.